This is a little story I just wrote called The Mask, a different kind of Halloween story. I hope you like it. Grandpa and Little Jack had a standing appointment on weekends to deliver Grandma's sweet bread to the church shut-ins. Now, we're pretty sure it was that sweet bread alone that kept those people faithful, or maybe just knowing that they hadn't been forgotten. Many of life's lessons were passed back and forth between Little Jack and his grandpa in the front seat of that rusty old Chevy that Grandpa called Lucky, same name he had given to all of his trucks ever since the day he met Grandma. Its dented fender reminded Jack not to judge a man by what he drives or the amount of dirt on his boots. Jack learned early that nothing defines a servant's heart better than the boot prints in the yard of a neighbor in need. Little Jack spent many hours riding shotgun with his grandpa, sometimes in a warm butterfield silence, knowing that some of the best words are the ones unspoken. Other days, little Jack would complain about his sister or a teacher who said he talked too much. And Grandpa would just listen and nod and remind him that every moment has three stories. Yours, theirs, and the truth that lies somewhere in the middle. Every October, when the leaves started to turn, little Jack would start secretly counting the days until Halloween. Secretly, because his mama said they weren't allowed to celebrate Halloween. It wasn't in alignment with what they believed. And little Jack never understood it. All he knew was what it felt like to hear the other kids talking about it. And what a coincidence it was that Grandpa happened to find that old Batman mask in the parking lot of the auto store. A cheap little dollar store plastic mask held on by a little rubber band. Never intended to last as long as it did, tucked up under the seat of Grandpa Chevy. We're just bringing some joy to the shut-ins, he would wink on that day each year when he pulled the mask out from its hiding place. And on that one day, Little Jack became Batman in overalls. The next year, Batman in rain boots. Then Batman in a cowboy hat. And one year, Batman with a cast and the shut-ins would act like they had no idea who it was and drop a little candy into his fist on his way out the door. They still call him Little Jack today, even though his hair is now gray and he's not so little anymore. And every week, he has a standing appointment with his granddaughter, Lucy, who has grandpa's dimples and loves to deliver the sweetbread she helped make to the church shut-ins. And every October, she counts the days until her grandpa reaches under the seat and pulls out that Batman mask. Little Jack will tell you that sometimes the very best heroes in life are the ones whose magic powers are no fancier than a dollar store mask hidden up under the seat of a Chevy.